What's up guys? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Hope you enjoyed the montage that was posted. I actually created that whole thing myself. I hired some different guys to make something and it, it all looked like shit. And it didn't represent the vision of the fun lifestyle and, and fun shit going on that I wanted to portray. So I'm going to go turn that into the trailer on the channel for people that have not subscribed, for new members. So I can see a little taste of what this life is all about and how you can have it too. So um, the topic for today is two things you need to make sure you're doing on dates. Okay, In my mastermind group, I give Facebook Lives uh, in the private mastermind group every week. This past uh, Sunday, we talked about dates. Okay, So I was going over all the nuts and bolts of going on dates. Okay, you've heard me say in other videos before, dates is the key to closing lots of hot girls. I'm going to talk about in this video, the two really important things that you must do in order to make sure your dates are successful. Okay. So before we continue, please like, and subscribe below. Make sure you press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And like I said last week, the new structure for the channel is Thursdays will be a different roast for lack of a better term critique of a particular coach in the industry. Um, Wednesday, I will be providing infield footage breakdowns, okay, with different snippets of clips. Uh, full clips from start to finish are in my Occam's Razor product if you're interested in full length clips that are much more instructive. But I'll be giving you little tastes and little pieces of stuff on YouTube on Wednesdays. Um, I'm also going to be taking the camera outdoors, okay, over the next week or two. If you guys remember the crypto expert, Nicola, um, he's going to be filming some videos with me. We're going to be ha covering much topics and we're going to pick some nice locations outside. So you get a break from the, the desk and the green screen here. So, uh, just a quick refresher on my points about dates. If you are getting a whole bunch of leads, right? You're running volume, which primarily in my view should come from night game which is bars and clubs, phone numbers, and online game, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, that kind of thing, okay? Day game does not have a good enough return for the amount of time you have to put into it. The bang for the buck is not there. But if you so wish, you can incorporate day game as well. I, I, my official stance on day game is approach hot girls you see during the day when you're doing other shit, but don't, I, I don't think it's stupid to devote like four hours to go to the mall. You get maybe like one good number per hour is what, is what a lot of the day gamers tell me they're, they're doing. Just too slow, okay? Um, and then you work those leads properly and you set dates, okay? Now, that means your whole week should be stacked up with dates, which gives you opportunities to close. And dates are also giving you perfect logistics, okay? Meaning there's no cock block friends like there are in the nightclub. You're presumably very close to your house, Okay, you're, you're meeting for coffee or drinks very close to where you live. So it's an easy sell to go back to your house afterwards. Um, let's see. She has time to, to devote to that interaction. She's not all distracted by things going on in the club. There's not heavy amounts of alcohol involved like there could be in the club, etc. So everything's kind of in your favor. Okay, But the two big things you need to do. Number one, you need to make sure you are sexualizing the interaction. I'm, I'm still seeing this time and time and time again. And I mentioned this in other videos, but it, it needs to be hammered home. Okay. It's not enough to just go on dates. I, I have clients recently that they've got the dates part down They're They're using my leads machine product. They're scheduling the dates. Okay. They're using Occam's razor to, to get the leads and then leads machine to schedule the dates, but they're not sexualizing on the dates. Why is this problematic? Because if the chick sees you as a platonic, interests like okay like if you have i always refer to this as like a fact exchange it's like a non-sexual conversation it's okay to talk about what do you do for work what do you do for fun where do you live etc etc i usually talk about that stuff in every interaction however in, you know contrary to popular belief that you can't ask interview questions no that's normal shit to talk about but you need to be injecting sexuality okay so that the frame is set that this is a sexual interaction, okay? Like I was on a date last night, for instance, with a Ukrainian chick, 
and we were like at an outdoor bar and like 15 20 minutes in like i made some joke and she like sexual joke and she responded positively to it and then i was i was like come here and i was like holding her hand and i was like you know taking it a little further started whispering bad shit in her ear people are looking at us around she's like stop stop and then she, you could see she's getting all like horny her breathing's getting heavy all this stuff and i'm like kiss me and we started making out and then the rest of the date was just like talking dirty and making out that, that that's a extreme example not like extreme extreme but usually you're not going to be like full-on dirty talking and making out in, in public for the whole date but had I like sat there and then, and then she said like she's never been turned on that much by a stranger before like she was like feel how wet I am you know and she was like a pretty traditional she's like a lawyer she's like a pretty traditional <laughs> um I always think about when these these like professional girls like she's having me like touch her pussy in public and she's like what's it called you know in these lawyer meetings whatever adjudicating <laughs> it's like funny to picture in that setting <clears throat> okay but but anyway, you know so she's like i've never been turned on this much by a stranger before and we yeah we didn't fuck like she because all these ukrainian girls are like fucking traditional and and she literally said like the anti-slut defense thing like my videos where it's like you have to, you know, you have to make it, make it so I don't seem like it's slut. And I, I, I tried everything, but it's just not going to go down. We have dinner tomorrow night. But, like, we were literally, we're, like, sitting outside my place. And she, like, wouldn't go in. She's, like, she's like I know if I go in there, like, I'm going to fuck you for sure. She's, like, I'm going to suck your dick and, like, ride on your cock and, like, all this stuff. And she's, like, but then I'll feel like a slut because, like, you're just a guy I just met on Tinder. I'm, like, yeah, but we've been having fun talking for, like, an hour. I feel a special connection. She's like, I know, I feel like you're, like, my guy. Not, like, she wasn't being, like, needy or whatever, or, like, clingy, but she, she's like, I feel like I've, like, known you for a long time, and I've never been this turned on before by a stranger. And she's like, what else did she say? She's like, um, she's like, yeah, if I, I can't just come up there, because I'm not, I'm not that kind of girl. Like, I don't just, like, bang random guys on Tinder. And, <clears throat> and I was like, oh, I, I did all the, the standard stuff that I teach. Oh, well, I know you're not like that. I'm not usually like that either, but we feel a special connection. So, like, we can make an exception, um, or we don't even need to, like, plan that. Whatever happens, happens, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately, it didn't go down. But, yet. But uh, the important point is we could have sat there, and I could have just kept things platonic and not sexualized, and it wouldn't have went anywhere near that direction, which is where you want it to go. Okay, keep in mind, she's meet, guys get, like, so afraid to make these these sexual verbals or be physical on a date, keep in mind she's agreed to meet up with you one-on-one, -on -one, right? That means she's open to the possibility of having sex with you. You don't need to be, like, in this little, like, scared box, like, should I make a comment? You know, and if, and if you start, if you make sexual comments from a place of, like, being scared or, like, you know, being hesitant or whatever, it's going to come off wrong. So just be cool. Treat it like you've already banged it before without being, like, you know, obnoxious or, or like, super presumptuous. And just be cool. So, okay, that's number one. Make sure you're sexualizing. Number two, make sure you are setting things up to go to your place after, which I refer to in my product as seating the pole. You need to do this in a nightclub. You also need to do this on dates. If you don't do it, you're going to, she, she's just going to fucking say goodbye at the end. Like, that's it. And you shouldn't do it at the very end. Like, oh, hey, like, uh, but, you know, because she's already committed to, like, okay, I'm calling my Uber, or okay, I'm going to my car to drive home. You shouldn't be like scrambling <laughs> and same with sexuality. Like I hear from my clients and I've been in this position too, as I was like coming up in the game, like, okay, they're, they're thinking like the date's getting towards the end and they're like, Oh, I didn't make a move. I didn't make a move. And then they go for like this, like Hollywood movie style, like kiss goodnight, which is like super awkward for the girl. And it's making the physicality like a huge, a huge deal, like a big deal, which is the last thing she wants. It should just be like this smooth, cool, like, flowing natural progression it shouldn't be like okay platonic 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 platonic, platonic, platonic. <laughs> fucking slurring my words here platonic platonic and then all of a sudden like boom like we're like going way up now we're going to make this big move and it's this big deal and there's all this pressure and the girl's like uh you know and then she maybe she just get, like kisses you on the cheek or whatever and then you're like fuck maybe she doesn't like me okay no you fucking you fucking blew it because you were a pussy most of the day um <laughs> I was like doing some research on my channel with one of my friends and like the stats 
like tons of my videos have like a limited or no monetization from saying like pussy and cocksucker and stuff like that. So, but I don't know, I don't know how to actually filter that out of my vocabulary unless I was like pretending I was giving like a business lecture or something. I think it would lose some of the punch. Uh, I thought I even care about monetization, but that also affects like how much they show it to people, show the video to people. Uh, so, okay. So make sure you like, you don't want to be in a situation. Like if you don't set things up to go home with her after, then she's going to say, have a good night at the end. Okay. And then that's it. You're done. Okay. So set the frame. Okay. The way I usually do it, I'll say like, Oh, did, did you have much time after this? It's about this time. She's like, yeah, I think so. Whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. When I was drinking, I would say, oh, like, do you like, do you like wine? She's like, yeah. Okay. Do you like red or white? Do you prefer red or white? Red. Cool. There's a shop on the way back. Or I would always have like two red bottles, two white bottles stocked in my house. Cool. I actually have some wine in my house. Let's go have a couple glasses of wine and, and continue to hang out. Okay. If she's like, no, I can't because I just met you and I don't go home with strangers. Or she's like, what if you're a murderer? Those are like the two main objections, either a safety objection or a you just want to fuck me or I can't go home with you because I would be a slut objection. And I go over in full detail in my product, how to deal with those. But just make sure you are to re recap sexualizing and setting things up to pull home. Okay. And your dates will go far, far, far better. Okay. And don't some other little caveats don't sexualize like in the first five minutes, right? You don't want to just like come, come out like firing, <laughs> Because, you know, you're, you're both getting like a little bit warmed up to each other. So the conversation's a little bit light in the beginning. And also you're not like seeding things to go back very early on in a date. Like, like you would, you should be doing that in a nightclub, but don't do that on a date. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, and subscribe below. If you have not already, uh, we are closing in on a million views on the channel. It's rapidly getting closer. It's like 952,000, but it's, it's going up by a few thousand every day or something like this. So that's cool. Uh, make sure you're sharing these videos. I'm going to start doing like what Athlean X does where he, he has like 8 million subscribers and he puts in every video. Like if you're enjoying the content, please like, like the more likes and, sh and shares this stuff gets, the more, uh, they'll show it to, to people. So do me a favor. I work hard on, on delivering the best, uh, value in this niche. Okay. I, I don't see any other channels that are giving away this, uh, level of, expertise. So, and as consistently as I've been doing it, so please do me a favor and, and like, and subscribe. If, you, if you're not subscribed, subscribe for sure, but like, and share, um, it goes a long way and it only takes a couple seconds. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Oh, and for the roast this week, there's a, there's a big one on Luke that's cooking, but I don't think it's going to be ready yet. Uh, tentatively RSD max. So if you have anything on RST Max, email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. You will be kept anonymous. He's the stupid RST instructor with a dumb accent. That's basically just a video game player and uh, a huge internet marketer scammer. Okay. So thank you guys. I will see you during the week. Take care. Peace.